Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, earlier, Manala had referred to ANC party and Ford Kenya as village parties. So he was asking Wetangula and Mudabadi to fold their party and join UDA, Wachana and a village party. Today, Manala has received a bombshell from the same UDA party where he purports to lead. The Kiambu senator is telling off Malala completely that Kiambu is not Vihiga. We want to say my wife the party we kwa UDA. Senator we UDA na kuambi na we ujue Kiambu siyo Vihiga. Mchezo ya nyumbani kwenyu cheza kwenyu usilete Vihiga eh usilete Kiambu. That is now the response to Malala. They have completely asked Malala to keep off Kiambu politics to the MCS, the governor, and the senator. But then, how did this one came to happen? Uh, because we are not talked about the Kiambu, uh, the Kiambu politics, it is better we start uh, tracing from where the problems that are facing Wamatangi in Kiambu. At first place, the Kiambu MCS threatened to impeach Wamatangi because they believed that Wamatangi is failing to show leadership and the issue of corruption in Kiambu County. Mismanagement, corruption, and a failed leadership, incompetence. Because of that, they wanted to impeach him. And this was the statement from MCS at that time. And the Auditor General to corroborate and do a forensic audit of all the procured projects and programs in this county of Kiambu. I, or for example, there is a chick, they are distributing chicks. A chick is going for a hundred shillings in Karo in Naivasha, but in papers it is going for a thousand shillings. There is maize distribution that will happen. Now, after this, Wamatangi presented the his finance bill 2023-2024 in Kiambu County Assembly so that they could pass it. But what happened? The Kiambu MCS refused to pass Omatangi's finance bill and they asked the residents not to pay license fees or levy to the county government as there is no uh, legal procedure to collect these taxes. So, the act of collecting taxes has not been legalized. The process is null and void. So, they incited the residents, those who are in business, not to pay taxes because they refused to pass the finance bill. But Matangi wanted to collect taxes. That means if there's any tax you want to collect, he has to use the previous finance bill. nyoro the former governor. And this is what they had to say, something that Malala was trying to respond to before the senator responded. So first of all, listen to them, then I will take you to Malala's statement and the response from Senator Dangwe. Today we were in assembly and uh, we were here to we are, we are here to witness tabling of the finance bill that was brought by the executive and members unanimously have agreed they will not pass that uh, finance bill cy giving citations of even what has been passed before the finance bill that have existed in previous years we have not seen anything that has been happening on the ground and therefore as members and responsible members of this county we decided that uh, there is no need of you continuing are taking money from people whereas you're not giving uh, the services that is the main reason as to why members have declined to pass the finance bill sim wanjiko the people who elected us are the same people who are complaining to our offices to everywhere that nothing has been happening in kiambu and therefore and therefore uh, they are in better position to understand us when we say that uh, nothing should, uh, they should not give the county government of Kiambu money because nothing has been happening on the ground and therefore Wajiko is in better position to understand what we are talking about. 
Now, after this, Malala was in Nyeri, where they were opening UDA office. Ruto was there, Gashago was there, and the entire leadership of UDA was in Nyeri. Then he got to address the media on the issue touching on Kiambu County. And his response as SG, he said that he's going to reconcile MCS and eh, the governor because Kiambu has to proceed, it has to prosper, it has to realize the agenda of UDA party, that is a UDA house. Now he's talking as SG. And eh, He's saying that he's ready to sit down with these people so that they can pass the bill, which is now very funny, that in that bill, there is William Samuel Ruto's project that he needs to do in Kiambu. I am just asking myself a question. The project can the national, national government want to do in Kiambu and waiting for Kiambu County to pass the bill so that they can do their project. I thought national government projects are passed or financed bill is appropriated and passed in the National Assembly. So he brought in the name of William Samai Ruto, but his main aim was to deal with the issue of Kiambu. Now people are feeling that uh -uh, there is something. Listen to Malala, then I'll take it to the response from the Senator. So, Nigepela Tukuimiza MCS. Kama kuna jambo lolote ambalo wako nalo na uh, the county government of uh, Kiambu tutaweza kaa chini na uongozi huo wote nimeambiwa tayari kwamba kuna mshike mshike kati ya gavana na wale MCS lakini tumesema tunaenda kaa nao chini sababu gavana ni wa UDA na MCS ni wa UDA so hakuna yule ambaye tunaenda kuhakikisha kwamba watu wapigane chama kie, kiende chini tunaenda kukaa now after malala statement Kiambu senator, who was seemingly isolated from this issue by the UDA SG, and this could be one of the major reasons why he's gang blessing on Malala. How do you sideline a senator of the county and you want to sort out devolution issues in the county, and yet senator is number one person oversighting the governor? That means there was a fishy thing happening there between Malala and Wamatangi. Trying to coerce Malala with something so that Malala can start writing letters to MCS, threatening them, giving them orders so that they can stop using the president name. Because he and your party leader were you dear. He and your mambo senator Ameona, Akasema Hapa, Nawewe Ujue, Haruta Kubali Huyo Muchezo. Huo mchezo cheza kwengine, lakini wachana na mamba ya kiambu, ifanyike vile iko, wachana na MCA, wafanya kazi yao, hatuta kubali chembe chembe yoyote ya ukora, ya kujaribu, kutishia MCA so that they cannot do their oversight role. And this is the response from kiambu senator, direct to UDA Secretary General, Cleophas Malala. Na muheshimu sana katibu mkuu wa chama cha UDA, Cleophas Malala. Lakini ngataka kumwambia mambo ya Kiambu wacha. Wacha. Wachana nayo. Ukiangalia kipengee cha 96 katika constitution yetu ya Kenya ambayo inasema the person to take care of the interests of the county is a senator. Kazi ya katibu mkuu wa chama mambo mawili tu afanye. Ya kwanza kuandikisha wanachama wa UDA na ni wengi sana Kiambu County. Na ya pili kubatilisha uh, majority leader wa county uh, whip wa county hiyo tumempatia hiyo kazi lakini the running of affairs of the county of Kiambu habana 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 hapo asiingilie tulikuwa na katibu mkuu wa chama ambacho kilikuwa tawala chama cha jubilee alikuwa anaitwa Tuju yeye yeah, alikuwa anajuana sana na gavana mwenye alikuwa hapo wakati huo alikuwa anaitwa Nyoro MCA wakifanya kitu kidogo gavana anapigia katibu mkuu katibu mkuu anaandikia MCA barua MCA wanaweka uoga hatutaki kuenda hiyo safari katika chama cha UDA wacha kuogofia ma MCA MCAs wafanye kazi yao they are very independent all we have to do is consultation hatutaki kusema malala na wamatangi wanajuana sababu walikuwa maseneta katika muhula uliopita hatutaki kusema hivyo lakini huu ni ukweli 
kwa hivyo asiingilie kama unataka kuongea mambo ya kiambu wewe secretary general ongea na senator i'm the one who is responsible of the interests of the people of kiambu county ongea na mimi nikwambie what is happening lakini usiongea na governor ndio unyamazishe ma mc hapana hapana hiyo tumekataa ndio tunamwambia wacha kabisa kabisa with a lot of respect wacha maneno ya kiambu Kiambu iko na wenyewe na ndio sisi na sisi ndio tuliamka asubuhi wote tukaingia UDA kwa kujitakia bila kushinikizwa na mtu yeyote kwa hivyo hatutaki hii chama yetu tunaipenda yaanze kushinikiza ma MCA vile watafanya na usiweke rais hapo hapana rais hayuko rais hayuko hapo mimi tunaongea na yeye kila wakati hayuko kwa hiyo mtaratara now the writings is on the wall in capital letters for malala Before he destroy their own house in Western he has to know that Mount Kenya is not ready to listen to him and the kind of propaganda he want to try and play in Mount Kenya it might not work for him wanamwambia siasa zako peleka Western sio huko kama unaharibu huko endelea kuharibu kule Western sio huko but for Kiambu people were elected let them do their work if it's oversight role let them do it because the kiambu mcs are speaking on behalf of the people i don't know malala is speaking for who he might be speaking for someone else maybe himself his stomach and the uda party but who is speaking for the people mcs the governor and the senator how and of yongoz wa lipigiwa kura kule kiambu so if governor is going wrong MCS have to do their work. Kama anapoteza wananchi, mwambie hapana. Senator pia yako pale, angalia mambo ya oversight. Kama ako wrong, aseme hapana. If Malala was serious, he want to bring Kiambu County together. The first thing he would do was to look for three individual. Number one, senator, mtu mwenye anapanya kazi ya oversight. An independent person. Number two, MCS and number 3 governor sasa from there angekuwa ako na perception nzuri ya kwamba hakuna mambo mengine ndani kama ya kufanya vitu zingine pale zenye ni za kuona ni kama unajaribu kusaidia mtu fulani kwa njia fulani this issue maybe will be sorted out like the meru issue where now ruto had to send Gashagwa to go and sit down with the MCS, the governor and the rest. But again there could be a game here. Wamatangi could be might be being frustrated by the top leadership kama Malala ajui. Sababu tumesikia mambo ya mashamba huko, sijui Matangi wa Matangi alipigiwa msomo kule Nyeri State Lodge, akaambiwa aruhusu mambo ya mashamba yende, akakataa and then Mambo ya kuinginia MCS to rebel against him came in intimidation and all that. This is huge. Malala cannot sort it out. So there are so many politics here, but the fact is that they are giving a warning to Malala to stick to his area and forget about Kiambu and that is politics. I don't know your views but let us meet in the comment section to continue with this discussion. Thank you so much and see you in our next video.